everyone, so today's video is going to be on my foundation routine. I will be showing you how I apply my foundation and I'll show you the products that I'm going to be using for this video. Before we get started, I do want to go over a few things. Um, number one being that when you go out and buy foundation, you want to make sure you know the skin type that you have. If it's dry skin, normal skin, combination skin, oily skin. And it's important for you to know your skin type because liquid foundation usually works for pretty much all the skin types. If you have oily, you might, if you have oily skin, you might have to set it with a powder. Um, however, powder foundation does not work for dry skin. Um, I have dry skin and I've tried powder foundation and my skin looks horrible. Um, if you have dry skin and use powder foundation, your skin will look flaky and it's not a good look. So, so you want to stick with liquid foundation. Um, another thing that I want to go over is that when you go and are trying to pick your shade, make sure you match it to your neck instead of your face or the back of your hand. I know some people uh, match it to the back of the hand or their face and I don't think it's a good idea because your neck is usually different, um, a different shade than your face or the back of your hand. So you don't want to have like a different color on your face and then your neck be a different color because then you can tell a harsh line of two different shades and that is not cute. So your best bet is to match it to your neck. That way from here to here, it's all even color and it looks good. Um, another thing I wanna go over is four different methods on how to apply your foundation. And one of them is using your fingers. Um, everybody knows how to apply foundation with their fingers. So you just kind of like blend it in like a cream kind of thing, like a face cream. You just blend it in with your fingers. Um, and it's obviously free, so that's a good way. Another way is with this brush. And this one is um, by Chanel and it's just kind of like a flat little skinny brush and with this you just kind of pat it on evenly throughout your skin you don't want to do like strokes or brush it because then you can see lines um, this is probably my least favorite way of applying it um, but I mean it works for some people so that's that and then another way is you can use a beauty blender and this one is from Target. It's dirty because I used it, obviously. And um, I got it from the Sonia Kashuk line. Uh, it works well. You can all, you can buy the original Beauty Blender online, and I think it's twenty dollars. But this one was nine, and it works fine. So here, you just kind of either put your foundation on and then um, pat it with this, or put it on your hand and then you know pat it on your face. You do want to make sure that it's moist when applying your foundation and then you just kind of tap it on your face and it creates like an airbrush kind of look. Um, this I like, this works fine for me. I usually either use this or this brush and this brush is the last method that I have used to apply my foundation. It's a Sigma Flat Top Kabuki Brush F80. This is by far my favorite way of applying foundation. Um, it's just the bristles are flat here at the top and I usually put my foundation on my hand here and then I, you know, stipple it onto the foundation so the foundation can get on here. And then I just tap it on my face and then blend it out evenly in circular motions. I usually start, put, I start blending my foundation from here out. Usually these areas are the ones that require more foundation. Um, so if you don't want to start from right here and go in because then all your foundation is going to stay back here. So I just start here and go out and then from the top down. And yeah, so this is um, another way you can apply foundation and this is my favorite. So here are the four methods that I have tried and I would say these two are my favorite. So yeah, that's all I wanted to go over. I just wanted to go over those things before getting into the video because I know it's very common for people to um, have questions about how to pick your shade, what skin you have, and what methods you should use for your foundation so there you have it to rate this video subscribe comment or leave suggestions in the box below and yeah let's get started with the video so first I take my hard candy primer and I apply it to my entire face and if you follow me on Instagram you probably saw a picture of this and I hate it I wouldn't recommend it to anybody but since I have it, I might as well use it up, right? <laughs> I then take my Maybelline Corrector Concealer in green and I apply this to any areas where I have redness just to make sure it evens out my skin tone and the redness isn't peeking through my foundation. 
I then will blend it out with my ring finger. Then I take my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. I mainly apply this under my eyes because I have really bad under eye bags so I really try to conceal those. And after I'm done applying it, I will blend it out with my ring finger. And if I have any small blemishes, I do conceal them before applying my foundation. However, if they were to be very big and noticeable, then I would conceal them after. But in this case, I don't have too many and they are not too noticeable, so I'm doing it before I apply my foundation. Finally, I apply my foundation. Here I am using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki Brush. I put the foundation on the back of my hand and I stipple on the foundation. I don't blend quite yet. I just apply the foundation and then I will go ahead and blend out in circular motions. I really enjoy blending out my foundation. I take my time just because I want to make sure that I blend out evenly and I create that perfect canvas for the rest of my makeup. And remember to make sure and blend down your neck just to make sure that it's all even and nicely done. And we're all done. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned a few things. Thank you so much for watching.